in the future 2099 new york york the flying high city built up of old new york city is a place of both technological and superhuman wonders after an experimental genetic procedure miguel o'hara's dna was combined with a spider and miguel gained the powers similar to the original spider-man superhuman strength durability poisonous fangs and the ability to create organic webbing miguel uses his incredible power to protect new york york as the spider-man 2099 long ago alien organism called the symbiote appeared on earth where it bonded to various superheroes and villains like Spider-Man and Venom, increasing their powers through mental, physical and emotional symbiosis. But in 2099, the Venom symbiote has been rampaging in New York. But it's not the only symbiote in town. And Miguel O'Hara, the Spider-Man, has to sacrifice everything to stop this symbiote threat. Welcome to Comics TV YouTube channel. In today's video, we will review Chapter 1 of Symbiote Spider-Man 2099. So if you guys are new here, Please subscribe and turn on all the notifications to never miss any future uploads. Please like, comment and share. All the text and images are owned by its suspected company. You can support them by purchasing it digitally or from any offline stores. The issue opens up with a group of teenagers. They are enjoying the evening with their flying car. But they are also cautious about the public eye cops and especially Spider-Man. But while they are flying, they see the cops are chasing an Atlantean who has bonded with the symbiote and he calls himself the Venom. They are firing at him, but this Venom quickly lands on those teenagers' car and throws them from above the sky. And after taking those kids' lives, Venom decides to end this chasing. He approaches to one police and spits acid from his mouth directly at the cop's face and he then charges towards the second one. But before he can take his life, the waving stops in and it is Miguel O'Hara, the Spider-Man 2099. Miguel tells the cop to escape and he engages himself with this Venom. And it seems the symbiote has bonded itself with the submariner, Roman, who years ago flooded the entire New York to take revenge on Alchemax and the freedom of New Atlantis. But this time, Miguel came here with full preparations and with an explosion, Miguel forces Roman to go back to Atlantis. His henchmen are planning to take back the entire surface world. But right at the time, Roman becomes dominant of his own mind and he forces the symbiote to leave his body. The panel then jumps at Alchemax. Miguel is informed by his brother Gabri that the symbiote got away. He left Roman and now it is wandering around the city. So Miguel assures him he will find the symbiote. But that's not the only problem. As the Alchemax scientist, Dr. Hibi, is currently working on a super soldier serum and he is running that process by using a synthetic Venom symbiote. So Miguel tells his brother the situation is under control. All he has to do to keep the symbiote separate from its previous host, Crone Stone. But right at the time, he hears the bad news from his mother that Kron has escaped. He was being transported to a hospital thanks to Spider-Man's brutal beatdown and he broke out of the ambulance. Hearing all the bad news, Miguel gets confused, so he decides to meet Dr. Hibi first to solve this situation. On the other side, Crone shows up into his apartment. He breaks into his locked room thanks to the landlord and he goes to sleep to heal himself from Spider-Man's beatings. Meanwhile, Dr. Hibi shows up to meet with Miguel and he questions Hibi why he is experimenting with the Venom symbiote. And hearing this, Hibi gets surprised as how did Miguel find this out and Hibi's attitude makes Miguel angry. So Hibi tells him the symbiote was spontaneous and in doing so, it mutated. Chemical reading shifted because of its exposure to Kron and its time on Earth. So he wants to experiment with this symbiote to make a perfect super soldier serum. But Miguel shuts him down and orders him to stop the project and get rid of the symbiote. So as he believes, Miguel's mother, Conchata tells him, Tyler Stone, the previous owner of Alchemax, is coming today to take full control of this company. And Conchata believes Miguel should hand it over to him. The pressure of this company is changing him. Miguel used to be relaxed, nothing froze him. But now, he always raising his voice and hitting things. He is acting out of character. But his mother's words make Miguel mad as this company is experimenting something that could wipe out an entire civilization. And it is not happening because of his presence. Conchata knows what her son is going through. So without doing any argument, she leaves. And after that, Miguel contacts Lila. The AI has the complete information on Alchemax database. So Miguel tells Lila to spy on Dr. Hibi and see what he is doing to destroy the symbiote. So Lila follows Hibi and after getting the information, she tells Miguel that Hibi is laughing demonically and says he will show him, he will show them all and it is not looking good. 
Miguel knows he isn't obeying him, so he decides to use his new, improved nanobots and appears as Spider-Man to force Hibi to destroy the symbiote. So Miguel shows up at Dr. Hibi's lab and he tells Spider-Man that he has been training this symbiote, getting them to bend to his will and to test it out. Dr. Hibi presses the button and commands the symbiote to attack Spider-Man. The symbiote charges at Miguel, but right at the time, it stops and reminds Hibi that no one can control him and it grabs Miguel with his train wheels and begins the process to merge with him. Meanwhile, at Kron's apartment, he's looking at his face in the mirror. Miguel did a brutal beat down, broke his tooth, made his face swollen. Kron remembers that and it drives him mad. He wants to take revenge on Miguel, but as he turns on the shower, Kron gets hit into the mirror and the attacker is Punisher 2099. For quite some days, he was monitoring this apartment and today he found him and he is going to kill Kron for what he did. He killed Punisher's mother, his brother and his brother's wife. They were going to take a family vacation to Norway, explore the origin of Thor and all the other gods. But Kron killed them all and he is going to pay for that. But before Punisher can shoot him in the face, through the shower, the symbiote shows up and it merges with its previous host and Kron becomes Venom once again. Punisher tries his best to escape the Venom. He even blows out the building. But the fire makes no impact on the symbiote. And before Punisher can raise his gun, Venom jumps on him and enters his bike through his skull. And Venom kills Punisher. Back at Alchemax, Miguel is struggling to free himself from the symbiote, but it was too late for him as the symbiote has taken control of Miguel's mind and together they become the symbiote Spider-Man. And with that, the chapter 1 of Symbiote Spider-Man 2099 comes to a close. So which part you like the most? Please share them on the comment section down below. And please like this video and do subscribe as this will motivate me to make more contents. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.